Hello, and welcome to the description of the case study for the culminating for Mr. Arnold's Canadian Law class. Today, I am going to show you how to identify a case, how to find statute law within the case, how to find common law within a case, and how to identify other parts of the case, including the final decision. The first step is to access the Canadian Legal Information Institute, or CANLE, which has the reports on all cases in Canada. If you are looking for a case in Ontario, you can quite simply click Ontario. This will lead you to a search page. Next, if you are looking for a criminal case in Ontario, you are going to want to choose the Ontario Court of Justice. So this is for criminal or public law cases. If you are looking for civil litigation or a case about civil law or private law, you are going to search in the Superior Court of Justice. If you are interested in any boards or tribunal, including the Ontario Municipal Board or Labour Board, you can look under Boards and Tribunals at the bottom. You can also find the Ontario Human Rights Commission. Since I'm looking for a criminal case, I am going to now click on the Ontario Court of Justice. And now, under the Ontario Court of Justice page, I'm going to click on R against AM. Right off the top, one can see that with the initials AM, this is most likely a Youth Criminal Justice Act case, because they do not state the full name of the defendant. As you scroll down, you can clearly see that the Youth Criminal Justice Act is stated here. Therefore, the Youth Criminal Justice Act is one of the statute laws that are referred to within this case. So as you can see, from the case study description, you must clearly identify statute and common law cases cited in the decision. We have identified successfully one of the statute laws that are referred to in this case, which is the Youth Criminal Justice Act. Your next step would be to identify common law cases cited in the final decision of the judge. If you scroll down into the actual decision, you can also see it has the citation listed for you already in APA format, and it also has the long form case name. If we continue to scroll down, and keep going down, you can see that common law cases are referred to using the same initials as this case. You can also access the summary of these cases by clicking on the blue links that will lead you to another case within the Can Lee website. The next piece you are going to want to look at is the final decision. If you scroll down, there are other pieces of information including agreed statement of facts, and these are facts between the defense and the crown that were agreed to as happened. Therefore they were not in dispute about this case. If we keep going down, we can see that there are more common law cases outlined in blue. If you're looking for the final decision, the final decision 
will be listed under the conclusion. You can see here that we have a charge and we have a final decision listing the judge's name here. And that is how you successfully read a court decision or case study for your final culminating activity.